Okay, hello guys, my name is Francis and I'm back with the continuation of the um, authentication video, but here we'll be discussing um, the forms and making custom forms on so. So you could see that our first form was to just add username, your password and uh, password for some confirmation. We didn't have something like uh, an email or what they call it on. Um, maybe something like first name, phone number or so. So I'm going to be enabling like addition of email and let's, I'm just say uh, first name too. So first of all, what to do is we should just create a new file. Um, okay, then now our form is going to subclass, okay, no. it's going to inherit from the base form the user creation form that's what we are going to do so it starts with um class the name sign let me think of that sign up form mm, let me see Okay. We'll import the user. Like I said, we we'll inherit from this form. Remember that's the same thing I see. It mustn't be this form actually. The other forms, the other forms can inherit from, but this is what we'll be using. We can do this. Uh we want to start with an email. So it will be equals to forms. As you notice, it's underlined because it's not also imported. So we'll import it from, yes, this particular one now. Forms dot uh, email field. Choose the email field, not the um, input, the field. Now we can specify something like max length. Like as you can see, this unique name says that required is um, 150 characters or fewer so max you can take is 150 characters and this later whatever all this stuff now is to help text that's what we call them so we can specify it let's do um okay let me do required equals to true help text should be Uh, let's see. Let's keep that for now. Um, like I said, first name. It's the same forms we are using. Forms that we will not be using email field. So we're using this car char form, like a character form. As you can see, there's even check boxes there. So, uh, okay, do the same thing. It takes the same input with the first one. We could go with the uh, what did this? Okay, required. Yes, a name is required. Um, help. Thanks. Okay. And now we're going to define another class. I do not put a uh, max length of anything here, but I'll do that later. I will define another class name class. Uh, there's meta. That's the name of the class because the class we're inheriting from already defined that class model. I don't know if you watched my previous video. Remember when I said something about we will not be using the models file also because. The default um, Django's authentication already ties it to the user, to a model. So that's what we are doing here. I'm going to import this. You can see. Let's see. Okay. Now, we specify the fields in a tuple. This bracket stuff is called a tuple. Um, okay. 
let's say I want the first name first. She asked me about first name. After first name, you should ask me for email. After email, you should ask me for uh, user name. After user name, you should ask me. I would say you should ask for uh, password. Password one. Come on. Uh, so now this password one as you can see and this username remember it's what we put here so this will be the fields in the html too uh okay uh yeah we are basically done with this this is just like the most basic form of doing this obviously there are a lot of other things you could do so using the form here i will go ahead and comment this out oh sorry about that and import hours uh-huh we bought it passing Passing the request okay do the same thing here Okay, now which view I did that for the sign up view, and that's where we notice it to change now. Did you see? Impute your first name. Just even if it changed well, I didn't design it well, so so you can see the email is there. Yes, you could also specify a label. Label is this, is this. You could also see it in email, but it's so small. Let's see. Label for email. Most of the time they have text for email. Email. I know it's name, but let's just see. If it not if you notice it did change. I'll remove the first name stuff. I can just move everything. It's not needed. So, uh, that's basically it. I'm uh, coming about this. Uh, need to delete my database and see. Won't be my questions again. So, okay. Now, for sign up, I did not touch. I'm still using the default form for sign up, which actually makes sense because for sign up, I don't want to still be asked to put in my first name or my e email. Okay, I can use email or my username or whatsoever. So, let's, I don't have any accounts created again. So, let's just say first name is Frank. Email is Frank. Gmail. Uh, name Password. Mm -hmm. account. Okay. Remember, once you create your account, it just logs you in. Yeah. Let's see. Steam. What's my username? Welcome, Frank. I wrote this so uh, it should be in home. Yes, see where I did that. Username this B tags is um, bold. Hash password 
and you can see this is not the, obviously the password we write we wrote was not this but because of um, Django doesn't actually store the password it hashes it like it converts it to something else we can something like shorten this actually let me shorten it to 10 so it doesn't take so much spice and so you can see this is actually a function this stuff is a function so um that's basically it 